Chapter 56, The Defensive Battle of 100 Meters Above Ground, Part 2. The monkeys climb the wall. I make full use of thread manipulation and stick to the adhesion and the and stick the adhesion threads in the wall of the monkey's movement direction. This is bad. The remaining MP is unreliable. I might have spent too much on poison synthesis, but when the time comes, I have to persevere without thread manipulation. Because a stone flew, I hide myself in the shadow of the rock quickly. The monkeys that remained on the ground throw stones continuously. Although it's not likely to get a fatal wound, even if it hits, it's very annoying. The first wave of the monkeys rushed in into the adhesion thread zone that I had stick. Of course, the monkeys stick to the adhesion thread and their mo movement stopped. If it's impossible for the first wave to move, then it should be able to hold up the following wave for a while. Ah! Those guys, they use their allies' body as footing to climb further. Although there's still more in the adhesion thread zone, it looks like this will be broken through sooner than I expected. Shit! Now's not the time to hold back. I release the cat cast net among aiming at the monkeys group that is the most monkeys gathered there. I, have, I leave the monkeys caught in the cast net as it is. The more you struggle, the more the adhesion threads get entangled, and it becomes even more impossible to move. If there's such a massive monkey on the course, then it should be useful as an obstacle. The monkeys caught in the threads are basically ignored. From the monkeys' status, what can be understood is that they can't escape from my threads. This time, I won't, be used, I won't use the severing thread. Anyway, as a safe method, I should make all of the monkeys incapacitated with the adhesion threads. I can defeat it slowly afterwards. I release a second cast net. Several monkeys get caught in it again. When I was going to release a third one, a stone is thrown to me. I avoid it in a hurry. Shit. Despite being an enemy, it supports at the right time. Moreover, I wonder whether or not they are cautious of my cast net because the monkeys disperse to the left and right. Like this, I can only catch one or two of them using the cast net. These guys, unlike the monsters up until now, they are intelligent. If you are really intelligent, then notice that I'm not worthy prey. There's no profit even if you defeat such a small spider, but the monkeys approach with the spirit to defeat me by all means. I want you to stop it. Give me a break from such passionate thing. Let's point this passion to another thing. For example, like... I scatter my threads when thinking something stupid. <laughs> Because the monkeys have disappeared to the left and right, it's necessary to scatter it throughout thoroughly all over the place. I use the thread manipulation in moderation such as possible. As much as possible. In this situation, it's quite dangerous if my MP runs out. The reason why I didn't shut myself in the, f in the simple home is because it's 100 meters above ground here. Although my thread is considerably strong, it's not invincible. If it's vulnerable against fire and easily blown, by the earth, blown off by the earth dragon, uh, although it boasts of its high defensive ability, if a power more than, uh, more than it is exerted... What, why did I have to... What was hard about that? I don't, uh, if a power more than it is exerted, it will be broken through. I don't think that the monkey can do that. If I'm on the ground, it will certainly choose to withstand a siege. But here is not on the ground. If the monkey attacks a simple home at this, and at the same time, but the body sticks to it. Naturally, it will have to take the load of the monkey's weight, and if it happens simultaneously, the simple home can never endure the load. The simple home doesn't have a foundation. I only stick it with adhesive power between the ceiling and the wall. It can support if it's only me and the rock, but I don't know to what extent though of weight it can support. Although I thought about expanding it to increase its stability, I chose a way to prevent the monkeys from approaching it. I thought that it will only increase the amount that it can support even if I expand it. Still, it might be good when thinking about the number of monkeys. While it's the beginning, why? Uh, why? It's because the number of monkeys doesn't increase at all. Although I thought whether or not I failed to kill the monkeys with poison, the monkey's corpse seemed to be piling up right under the wall. It doesn't seem to be revived. It's simple. The number of monkeys have increased more than the beginning. The so-called reinforcement. Ha. <sighs> Wondering where did those guys come from, the number increases rapidly. It should be around 50 of them at first, but now it's simply double of the number. Moreover, it increases much more. A marathon without an end is scary, right? What should I do? Seriously, what should I do? The red stamina become unreliable, let alone the MP. I have been releasing threads all this time since a while ago. It's over when the stamina runs out. It becomes impossible to release threads. I must evade that by all means. I prepare the Kumorning Star. The aim is the nearest monkey from here. Throw, hit, yush. I pull it up, taking advantage of the adhesive power forcefully. I restrict the monkey that struggle with the thread quickly. I drive it in the, I drive in the poison fang in the middle of that. A stone hit me. Ouch. But my HP only decreased by five. 
As expected, it doesn't have a great power because there's a distance from the ground to here. Although it's painful, I ignore it forcibly by power of pain alleviation and pain nullify. I kill the monkey with the power of poison fang. I eat it as is. I eat as it is. Right, I eat it as it is. <laughs> as for this work, the match is the quickness. I have to end it and return to the front early. The monkeys are still putting up a hard fight against the adhesion thread. Most of them have sticked to the threads and become impossible to recover from it, but the path build where the monkey's body is being completely completed accordingly. They are approaching to me steadily. My stamina managed to recover and I should consider this as the last. Therefore, I must be quick to finish eating completely and make them my foods. Boo ha! I finished eating it. Although the feeling of killing the monkeys somehow rose, now, after such a long time, it's me who eat. I won't be eaten by the likes of you. Yay! I mean, it's a shit ton of monkeys to eat. <laughs> you had to have heard that, right? That's a loud-ass fucking chicken. <laughs>